क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 सेज अ ग्रामोफोन रिकॉर्ड इज रिवॉल्विंग विद एन एंगल ऑफ वेलोसिटी ओमेगा अ कॉइन इज प्लेस एट अ डिस्टेंस 2r फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन इज म्यू द कॉइन विल रिवॉल्व विद द रिकॉर्ड इफ नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ द कॉइन इज एट अ डिस्टेंस 2r फ्रॉम द सेंटर देन द रिक्वायर्ड नेसेसरी सेंट्रिपिटल एक्सेलरेशन वुड बी ओमेगा स्क्वायर 2r If the mass of the coin is m, we can write that m omega square 2r would be the required centripetal force, and this would be provided by the frictional force. Now, dear students, if m omega square 2r is less than or equal to the maximum value of the frictional force, then the coin will revolve with the gramophone. Therefore, we can write that m omega square 2r should be less than or equal to mu into mg. on cancelling the value of m we can write down that omega should be less than equal to mu g by 2r under root which means that option number 1 of this question is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 12 question number 12 says a thin smooth circular loop of radius r rotates about its vertical diameter with an angle of velocity omega a small bead was placed on the lowermost point when the loop was stationary In equilibrium with respect to loop, the angle made by the radius vector joining the center of loop to the bead with the downward vertical for omega is equal to root 5 g by 4 r is. So, dear students, there is a circular loop, and of the circular loop, a small bead is such that it remains in equilibrium with respect to loop. If this is the vertical, let this angle be theta. Dear students. we can draw the free body diagram of the bead in the frame of the loop in that case there will be a outward centrifugal force equal to m omega square small r a downward force of gravity mg the students here small r is this value that is the radius of the circle in which the bead would revolve now dear students there will be a normal force as well For the horizontal equilibrium, we can write down that n sine theta is equal to m omega square r. Also, dear students, if the radius of the loop is capital R, then r sine theta will be equal to small r. Therefore, we can substitute and write that this will be equal to m omega square r sine theta. The sine theta term gets cancelled out, and therefore we can write that n would be equal to m omega square r. For the vertical equilibrium, we can write that n cos theta would be equal to mg. on dividing these two equations we can write down that cos theta would be equal to g by omega square capital r on substituting the given value of omega we find out that cos theta would be equal to 4 by 5 dear students therefore theta should be equal to 37 degrees and hence the correct answer for this question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 13 Question number thirteen says a force f is equal to ten plus twenty x acts on a particle along positive x direction, where f is in newton and x is in meter. The work done by this force to move the particle from x is equal to minus point five meter to x is equal to one meter is. Dear students, work done by variable force can be written as integral of f dx from initial x to the final x. In this particular case, f is given to be equal to ten plus twenty x. so we have to find the integral of this function from minus 0.5 till 1 the integral is equal to 10x plus 10x square from minus 0.5 till 1 the students are substituting the relevant limits we get a value of 22.5 joules and hence option number 1 for this question is the correct answer Now let us proceed to the question number fourteen. Question number fourteen says a water drop of mass two grams starts falling from height two kilometers. It hits the ground with speed fifty meters per second. The work done by the resistive forces of air during flight of the drop is. Dear students, from the work energy theorem, we can write down that work done by all forces is equal to change in kinetic energy. And work done by all the forces includes work done by gravity. and work done by resistive forces here in the work done by gravity can be written to be equal to m into g into h that is the height from which the drop is falling 
plus work done by resistive forces would be equal to change in kinetic energy that will be half mv square here in h is given to be equal to 2 kilometer which in si units will be equal to 2000 meters here in m is given to be equal to 2 grams which in si unit will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 kg here v is given to be equal to 50 meters per second and g is given to be equal to 10 meter per second square on substituting the given values in this expression we get a value of wr that is the work done by resistive forces to be equal to minus 37.5 joules and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 15. Question number 15 says a ball is thrown vertically downward from a height of 20 meters with speed 20 meters per second. It collides with the floor and rebounds to the same height. The coefficient of restitution is. Dear students, we can find out the velocity after the impact which will be equal to under root 2gh where h is the height attained on substituting the values we get 2 into 10 into 20 that is 20 meter per second the velocity before the impact can be written to be equal to under root of u square plus 2gh that is under root of 20 square plus 20 into 2 into 10 that will be 20 root 2 this one the coefficient of restitution can be written as the velocity after collision divided by velocity before collision because the velocity after collision would be the velocity of separation and velocity before collision would be the velocity of approach this will be equal to 20 divided by 20 root 2 that is 1 by root 2 and hence option number 2 of this question is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 16 